In July, we have watched with horror as the Azerbaijani government has waged war on its own civil society. It has targeted some of the country's most prominent human rights defenders, imprisoning them on the basis of trumped up and politically motivated charges. I name in particular Leila Yunus, Arif Yunus, Russell Jaf Jafarov and Intigam Aliyev. We need a strong condemnation of the detention of Azerbaijani human rights defenders to offer them profile and protection. And for the same reason, I am proud to say that the Green Group has nominated yet Leila Yunus for this year's Sakharov Prize. I also note the more recent news that the UN Subcommittee on the Prevention of Torture has decided to suspend its visit to Azerbaijan due to obstructions it encountered in carrying out its mandate under the Protocol Against Torture, of which Azerbaijan is a signatory. In our own resolution, we called for all bogus charges against the human rights activists to be dropped and urged the Azerbaijani authorities to end the practice of selective criminal prosecution and imprisonment of critics of the government. We call on the Azerbaijani authorities to halt all actions aimed at suppressing freedom of expression and assembly. In terms of our own EU institutions, we call on the Council and Commission and our High Representative to ask for the immediate release of all Azerbaijani human rights defenders and to apply the more for more principle with a specific focus on their situation. We also insist that negotiations towards a new strategic modernization partnership with Azerbaijan should be put on hold until these minimum steps are met and advancement of relations between the EU and Azerbaijan should be clearly linked to concrete steps by the government to improve its, improve its abysmal record. The case of Lola Yunus was brought to my attention by a constituent who knows her well. She has shared with me the terrible suffering that Dr Yunus is undergoing and which is too personal to be detailed here. But it should not be forgotten and it should motivate us to condemn the actions of the Azerbaijani government in the strongest terms and to demand the same standards of human rights as we would expect ourselves as EU citizens.